Hello, 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 boys and girls. This is Miss Allison with your Friday math lesson. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more work with coins and practicing those coins, identifying them, and remembering what their values are. So for today, there's a fun game you guys can play that I found for you. It's on Google Slides. Now, the other Google Slides activity you guys worked on was the one with the spring graph, and that was one where you actually used your pointer or your mouse to grab the rectangle and drag it up into the box to um, count and match on the graph. Okay, on this activity, it's not something that you actually have to um, change. You're going to be clicking on the different coins that you see, but it's a little bit different today. So, and also I wanted to let you guys know on this activity, I know with the spring graphs, I told you guys it was easiest to use the computer or the laptop. With this activity, I have tried it on my computer and laptop and it worked really well, but I also tried it on my iPad and it worked really well on my iPad too. So you choose how you wanna play this today because it is a little bit differently. It is a little bit different to play it. So I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how you open the game, how you play the game and what it's going to look like. Now, um, when you're doing the game, you might wanna have your parents set it up for you, but after they set it up, you can definitely manage playing this on your own. You might even be able to set it up on your own. I I'm not sure if you guys are on the computer. If you follow along with my steps, I'll make it nice and easy for you. You just have to be able to get on your Google Classroom. So that's where I'm gonna take you right now, and I'm gonna bring you over to the Google Classroom page. I know some of, I don't know if some of you guys have this on your iPad already. I know on Lily's iPad, she can always see her Google Classrooms there. So she just knows how to click into it. I think there's, she has the app for it and she just knows how to click into her classroom and click the assignments. If you guys can't do that, that's no big deal. Just ask a grown up to help you and the game is simple. So I'm looking here, this is my student side. So these are two of Lily's dance classes that she does on Google Classroom. So that's why this is not, you don't see Miss Morales and you don't see Mrs. Billman's here because I'm on the student side and as a student, I'm only a part of the math class. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cl click on Miss Allison's kindergarten math. Whoop. Okay, here we are, Miss Allison's kindergarten math. Now for this activity, I started out only assigning it to myself. I didn't give it to all of you guys yet. So don't worry, this is not something that you're gonna work on immediately. But if you look, I'm under stream, and you guys can do this. If you can get into your Google Classroom page, you can do this. If you're under stream, see the green line is under stream, and I look down here, one of the things that you'll see, one of the assignment clipboards will say, Allison Rodriguez, posted a new assignment identifying coins on Google Slides. I can also come up here and click where it says classwork. Okay, highlight classwork, make the line under here. And I can see identifying coins on Google Slides. So I'm, I can click it either place and I'm gonna click on it. Now I'm gonna come down here to where it says view assignment. I might leave some instructions for you guys. But if you don't see anything that I've written, you can just go ahead and click where you see the Google Slides picture, okay? Copy of coin identification. So you're clicking it. And we're gonna look at this together. So I'm gonna show you exactly what you're going to be doing. This is the front page, okay? It's like the cover of a book. This is the cover of the Google Slides. Then I'm gonna move my mouse, if you can see my mouse moving, guys. I'm gonna move my mouse over here to the second one. And let's read this together. It says directions. Please read before playing. And the first thing you do is go to view. Let me show you where view is, okay? It's at the top. View is V-I-E-W. Here it is right here. You see my little hand cursor, V-I-E-W. Go to view and then there's a little arrow that says present. So if I click on view, one of the first things that oh, one of the first things that pops up is present. So I'm not going to click it yet. I just want to show you how to get there. Go to view and then present to view the game in presentation mode. Number two, students, you guys, will click on their answer choice. 
If the incorrect answer is selected, so if you make a mistake, they will need to click the green go back button to try it again, okay? If the correct answer is selected, they will click the green keep going button. And then number three, it's just have fun because this game is just made for you guys to have fun with. I'm not checking you, it's not a test, I'm not giving you a grade on this, it's just for you to play it and have fun. So let's remember the second direction, go to, v, uh, go. I'm sorry, the first direction really, go to view and then present. So I'm gonna go slow up here so you guys can see where I'm clicking. View, my little finger is on it. And then I'm clicking that, and when I click it, I see present come up. So I'm going to come down by present, and I'm going to click on the word present. And then it opens. It fills up my whole screen. Now, when I'm doing this, don't click anything down here, okay? So any of these little buttons in this black bar on the bottom, don't click them. You don't have to worry about that. I'm going to show you one button to click, just one. And that's the little right arrow here, not the one in the middle that looks like a play button. Just one little button right here. After I click this, I don't have to worry about keep clicking there, okay? Now, we're on the first screen and it says click on the penny. Now, I'm going to help you guys do a little bit of this, but you should all remember the penny because the penny is the one guy who's not silver, okay? He's the coppery brown. So I'm going to find my coppery brown. Here he is. And if you look, when I put my mouse uh, on top of it, the cursor turns to a little finger to click. Okay, so let's see if I'm right. Yay, I get a check mark that says great, and it tells me keep going. So now remember I said you guys are not going to be clicking down here just the first time. You're just going to click that one thing for the first time. But now you don't need to click down here anymore. Now you're going to come up here and you're going to click where it says keep going. So I'm clicking on that spot, the green spot. Click on the dime. Okay, let's click on the dime. I know a dime is the smallest coin and I know its color is silver and I also know that the pictures on the coin, the front would have Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and the back would have Lady Liberty's torch. I see a silver coin, it's really tiny, and I see it has a little torch on there. I found my dime. But I know which one is the dime, but I'm going to pretend that I don't know and I'm making a mistake, okay? So let's pretend to make a mistake. And I'm gonna come and I'm gonna click on our big guy. Okay, so boop. What happened? A little red X that comes up, it says, sorry. So I'm gonna keep trying. Let's find the real dime. Good, keep going, okay? And then you would keep clicking through the presentation. If you get a green arrow that says, go back, that might mean that you made the wrong choice and you might have to click it where it says, go back or try again. I, I forget what it actually says. I think it's go back. But when you're all done, you see this little tiny exit on the bottom and you don't click this until you're all done. This little tiny exit on the bottom, now you can click it, not until you're all done. Okay. And I am going to show you guys, we'll go back to the directions. Yeah, I think, yeah, the green button will say go back. Sometimes you might see a green go back arrow if you do make the wrong choice. So now that we're all done playing the game, all you have to do is you have to come to the top, click that little X, okay, get rid of it. And now over here, you're going to click mark as done. And when I see that you clicked mark as done, it's going to tell me you guys played the game. You already did it. So remember, it can do, it can be played on a computer or laptop. It plays nicely on the iPad. I'm pretty sure you could do it on an iPhone too if you had it. But this game would work using a tablet. I know that the spring graph didn't work as well that way, but this game, this way you can do it, okay? Because you're gonna do view and then present. And you can do it however you want to do it with computer or tablet. And it's a fun, easy game. And even if you make a mistake, they give you lots of chances to try again. And they're going to ask you to identify the names of the coins and to remember how much each coin is worth, even though I didn't go all through the game to show you that.
So I hope you guys do enjoy playing it. Don't forget to click mark is done. That way I know you had a chance to play it. If you want to leave me any comments about whether or not you liked it, please do that because I love to see and hear how you guys are doing and if you like the math lessons we're working on. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I can't wait to start uh, having some one-on-one -on -one Zoom time with everybody so we can do a little math practice together. Just me and you. All right, everybody, enjoy your weekend and have fun with your coins.